the tools, you think? He has all the tools, man. If some guy can throw off one leg, he can, you know, throw it a mile. He can run faster than anybody else on the field. He just lacks the leadership. He's put together. I didn't say he lacks the leadership. I just think he needs to grow up a little bit. Um, and I think if he has the ability and the willingness to grow up, he's going to be just fine. Um, they paid him for a reason. They paid him because of his talent. And he has the ability to lead. It's just when you're in that position... We need you to lead more. Now that is right tackle Kelvin Beecham that is supposed to be an unrestricted free agent heading into this year's free agency class. Talking about Kyler Murray, is he wrong? Alright guys, welcome back in. Now before we get started, definitely do me a huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content on the road to 12k ladies and gentlemen and can't do it without you guys. Definitely a huge shout out to all the new subscribers that have come in and joined the family here on this channel. I appreciate you guys a lot. Alright, let's get started here ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about what Kelvin Beecham ended up saying about Kyler Murray. Now we also do have another clip from Larry Fitzgerald also chiming in about Kyler Murray. So we're going to be diving into that here pretty soon as well. But we all know as Cardinal fans heading into this year one of the biggest things is that a kyler murray we don't know when he's coming back right b now we're starting to kind of hear people and this isn't the first person that, that i've heard you know that's kind of had some criticism about kyler murray now we also heard p2 also say things now i also know somebody that told me that there is a specific player that does not like kyler murray in the locker room and he's set to be a free agent this year here's the big narrative right that kyler murray needs to grow up at least that's what kelvin beecham said Kelvin Beecham said that he does not worry about Kyler Murray's athletic ability to do it all on the field. He can make the throws. He can outrun most people in the NFL. He can do it all, right? And that's one of the main reasons why they paid Kyler Murray the big bucks, because he can do it. What Kelvin Beecham ended up saying is that Kyler Murray needs to grow up. Now, they did ask him, is it his lack of leadership skills? He said, no, it's not leadership skills. It's that he needs to grow up. Now, what does that mean, right? What does that mean? A lot of people are automatically going to think, oh, he plays video games, right? That's all he thinks about. Now, I think I'm going to take this approach a little differently. I think what Kelvin Beecham is saying is that Kyler Murray needs to make that extra step to become that franchise quarterback. Now, we do know as Cardinal fans, being that we watched every single game, that when things go very good with the Arizona Cardinals, things go very good. But when things go very bad, things go very bad for the Arizona Cardinals. We've seen Kyler Murray sulk. We've seen Kyler Murray yell at DeAndre Hopkins, yell at Cliff Kingsbury. And from the outside, people in the outside national media obviously are going to say things about the guy that does that, right? Puts all the dirty laundry in display. And this is kind of where we're at right now, right? Now, Kelvin Beecham says he needs to grow up. I think he's saying that Kyler Murray needs to make that extra step, makes the extra push to become that franchise quarterback. We got a young kid out of the draft that all he knew how to do was win, right? In high school, he won. In the in the year in OU, he won. He, he, he was drafted really high in the MLB draft. He was drafted in the gaming world really high. And then he was picked up first overall in the NFL draft. So we got a kid that comes in here probably with an ego, starting to allow his emotions to kind of get the best of him. Now, here's one thing that we've been talking about for quite, quite some time. That Kyler Murray, all he knows is win, 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 win. We paired Kyler Murray with the Cliff Kingsbury. And I think that's kind of where it, it all kind of fell apart. Now, things went well at one point for the Arizona Cardinals. But when things went bad... This last year, as well as towards the end of, you know, the whole playoff run when we got completely demolished by the Rams. We know where we're at as an Arizona Cardinal fan base, right? We know. I think Kelvin Beecham saying that in order for Kyler Murray, he needs to grow up. He needs to make that extra step to actually be great within the NFL. We know he can do it. It's just, is he willing to take that extra step to become that franchise quarterback for the Arizona Cardinals? Now, to me... I'm a big Kyler Murray believer, and here's the reason why. We know what he can do, right? We know what he can do on the football field. The biggest problem is that there was an, a lack of accountability within this locker room. We've had a coaching personnel, coaching people in this locker room that did not know how to rein Kyler Murray in. It almost kind of felt like people looked at Kyler Murray as that very special talent that nobody wanted to say anything. They walked on eggshells on Kyler Murray. That's what it felt like. There was a lack of accountability within this locker room. 
And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get rid of Cliff Kingsbury. The moment that we got destroyed in the Rams game, I wanted to get rid of him. But no, we got people saying progression, Mike, progression, progression, progression. When we automatically knew, we knew it, that Kyler Murray did not respect Cliff Kingsbury. And when things went bad, Cliff Kingsbury did not know how to rein in Kyler Murray. He didn't. He didn't. And that's why we're in this situation right now with so many questions heading into the 2023 season. And we have people talking bad about our franchise quarterback, national media, players within the locker room. That's not a good way to start the 2023 season, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you that right now. So Kelvin Beecham, I don't think he said anything bad about Kyler. I truly don't. I think he said a lot of positives about Kyler Murray. Truly, I think he did. But the fact that he needs to grow up in his mind is very telling. And let's go and talk about Larry Fitzgerald here. He also had some words to talk about Kyler Murray as well. And it almost kind of seems a little similar, maybe not as direct, maybe not as blunt. Uh, but this is going to be an interview with Kent Summers and Larry Fitzgerald for the USA uh, Today Sports. So let's go and dive right into what Larry Fitzgerald said about Kyler. Speaking of the Cardinals, you know, they're coming off maybe the most tumultuous season. And, and that's saying something because, you know, you've been through a few of those. But you know, and Kyler Murray is such a lightning rod. What what do you think has to happen? What do the Cardinals have to get from him to maybe take that next step to reverse things? You know, Kyler's proven over the last few years, he's such a dynamic player. Um, he's transcending talent. You know, when he's playing at his best, it's hard to argue that there's, you know, two or three players that are better than him in the league. Like, he's just that talented in terms of his throwing and his ability to run and scramble, improvise. The plays that he makes are like nothing else anybody can do. Um, but, you know, you, you hear about all the issues that, that, that have happened over the last couple of years as well. So I think it's very important for them to be able to hire a coach that can really, like, get Kyler to, to understand, like, for, for the team to be great, you know, like, there's, there's natural sacrifices that great players have to make. And, you know, if, if they can got, get a guy that Kyler respects and, 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 the, and the respect is mutual and they, and they understand that they have to work together to, to get things going in the right direction, I think the, the sky's the limit. But, um, you know, it has to be the right personalities. Ding, 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 ding. Exactly. And this is exactly what we'll be saying. And, it, and it's crazy to me that we waited, we had to wait as long as we waited. When I've been saying this for at least two or three years now, Kyler Murray does not respect Cliff Kingsbury. It's obvious. Actually get in the ear of Kyler Murray and tell him this is what we need to do. And this is the reason why we need to do the things that we need to do. This is it right here. You heard it from Larry Fitzgerald, Larry legend, Kelvin Beecham, that he's been, what, since 2020 as the right tackle for the Arizona Cardinals. Th these aren't the only players that are coming out and saying the things that they're saying. Now, one of the biggest things that we all heard players say, right, after each and every single loss is we have self-inflicted wounds. We need to look ourselves in the mirror. That's what we've been hearing every single press conference. Every single press conference, we heard the same thing, but nobody did anything. But it's because it's the lack of accountability that we had within the coaching staff. Now, I'm not going to put everything on the coaching staff, right? I'm not going to sit here and say, it's the coaching staff. I'm not going to say that because I do believe that there was fault to them. I do also believe that there is fault to Kyler Murray as well. He's great. He's a great talent. He's able to do everything on the field that, you know, he needs to. Because when things go good, things go very good. But when things go bad, that's where we need a coach to come in here and actually turn things around. Have somebody put a, shoulder, a hand on their shoulder and tell them, hey, this is what we need to do moving forward. Because there was just no respect. There was no respect between Kyler and, and Cliff. And I mean, from Kyler to Cliff, there was no respect. I don't feel like Kyler truly thought that Cliff Kingsbury was in this role or he didn't feel like he, he knew what he was doing. These four years of the Cliff Kingsbury experiment was literally a wing it, let's see what happens. We have a guy that can possibly get us a Super Bowl. We have a guy that can possibly be that franchise quarterback for the Arizona Cardinals. But we now we need that guy to reign in the talents, to reign in the personality of Kyler Murray and make him believe in the vision moving forward. Now, this next year is going to be very telling for Kyler Murray. I am a big Kyler Murray believer. I truly am. But if this year doesn't get right, you better bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to be the first one to say something. 
And here's the problem. We have to wait as long as we had to wait because of people saying, oh, it's progression, Mike. We're not getting rid of Cliff Kingsbury because of progression. We're doing the right steps. Well, now we're taking an extra year and we still don't know what's happening with Kyler Murray, right? We're waiting an extra year now when we probably already could have known when we brought another head coach in. But here we are. Here we are right now. We hope Jonathan Gannon can work out. I know there's a lot of fans out there that are not happy with this signing. There's a lot of fans out there that feel like we actually settled for the bottom of the barrel with Jonathan Gannon. I'm going to I'm gonna look at this as a positive view, right? We wanted a new coaching staff. We got a brand new one. It seems like Jonathan Gannon might be having you know a, a better time with building his own coaching staff because he was the one that brought everybody together, right? He didn't need a GM to help bring people in. We got Jonathan Gannon to do that himself, which is good. Let's let me know, ladies and gentlemen, what your thoughts are about what Larry Fitzgerald said, as well as what Kelvin Beecham said about Kyler Murray. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. As always, go Cards.